Hey guys, welcome to an Xcode 4, kind of the finishing touches for your applications. So once you guys get uh, some of your applications in the final stages, there's a few things you have to do to get them ready for uh, putting them on the app market. Now I'm going to go to the developer.apple.com and you can search anywhere on there, but uh, one of the things that you got to do is you got to have a launch image. And so that's basically when they click the app icon, it's going to take them straight to an, a launch image and then into your into your first uh, view controller view of your uh, application and so if, if you search launch image uh, description stuff like that or icon and image creation guidelines you'll find this page here which uh, kinda details how to do this um, image sizes launch image uh, guidelines and stuff like that so as you can see there's three required components of an application and we'll be going over the other two as well but uh, the first one here is the launch image, which uh, you can see they have different sizes for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, um, and then even the newest Retina display sizing for that. So uh, that's what we're going to do is uh, jump in and show you how to make those, where to put them in the application, and uh, size them up for your, for your uh, app. All right, so we're going to create a new project so you can kind of see where to go within your project files and uh, we're just gonna go with a tabbed uh, application go ahead and click next and our product name is gonna be uh, we're just gonna call this finishing touches finishing touch then uh, make sure we're using the universal dev device family because we're gonna show both for the iPod, the iPhone and the iPad where to put your launch image and then uh, go ahead and create your application or your project within uh, your saving your files and whatnot so as you can see from our summary here we're gonna be within our finishing touch um, target up to the left and you'll see there's an iPhone and an iPad deployment info so the first thing that we're gonna do is customize the iPhone slash iPod with our launch image and so once you open up the interface there you'll see there's launch images down below and actually if you hover over it you'll see that it displays what size you're supposed to put within the image specified and uh, you can see the retina display is 640 by 960 so when you're on the developer page that we were just on you you know you can see the basic sizes but then on the developer side it also shows you some of the ins and outs make sure you know the launch image is very clean and then make sure it looks this and this way they just give you some tips on the best kind of launch images so what we're gonna do is uh, off to the right I've already got some launch images designed so as you can see this first launch image um, is gonna be for our I've labeled it high resolution so that's gonna be for our retina display so we're gonna take that image there drag and drop onto our retina display launch image and then uh, the second one that I've got here is just uh, the regular iPhone slash iPod launch image. So we're going to take that one and also drop it uh, in the launch image place. So that'll do it for the iPhone slash iPod um, launch images. So we're going to go ahead and close that up. And then we're going to go into the iPad. Now the iPad, I'm actually going to delete this out. The iPad has got... Uh, two different specified sizes. It's going to be one for the portrait view which you can see is 768 by 1004 um, in size and then we've got a landscape which is going to be 1024 by 748 and so that's what I've designed these two launch images so the first one we've got is the portrait and we'll just drag and drop that in the launch area and then finally the second one is going to be our landscape and drag and drop that so we should be good now we're just going to run it and see how our launch looks and we're doing the iPad one so we can see what it looks like from the iPad um, launching. We should see here for the very first thing that we'll see is that launch image that we've integrated. So there you go. Now once the launch image disappears obviously it launches straight into your first um, view controller or whatever the app is specified to. So hopefully that helps you get your launch images ready and uh, prepare for your uh, app debut in the market. All right, we'll catch you guys later.